Hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Thank you for joining me again on my videos. Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple stove using uh, a couple of beer cans, um, a pin, and a pair of scissors, and some decent grips, pliers. See you in a minute. So all you need to make this simple um, stove is uh, two empty cans of drink, it could be beer cans, it could be cans of Coke, Pepsi, whatever can you want really, aluminium cans. Um, you start off first by cutting off the bottom of the first one, um, about inch and a half, two inches up from the base, should be enough. Just pierce a hole in the bottom, cut it roughly around to start off with. Throw away the um, the old bit you don't need here, eh? and with this one you just tie it up a little bit, just cut a nice and neat edge around your can. So it's kind of like even. Well, it's about right, about flush. That's this is your first part of the can. Take your second can, again, make a hole on the side, around the edge of your can. Throw away the old bit, you don't need that bit there. This one is slightly smaller. About, well, about an inch from the base. Cut around. Make it so it's nice and neat. Cut. Actually, two can party cans. So one's about half the height, half the height of the other one, as you can see. So next, you take a pin or a knitting needle, a sewing needle. Okay. Get a nice pair of pliers. You put your your pin five, about uh, five mil or so from the end of the pin. You take your larger portion of the can and you put holes, push down like that, do one each side first of all, then you do the other side, and then you do this side, and then you do in between those holes. Between that hole. Once all your holes are done, as you can see, on the outside of the uh, can there, you um, get your bottom piece and you face it curved side like that underneath the other can so it's a bit like that and without being very careful you will also wear gloves if you're doing this or a flat surface put the two together so they're just inside one another and then you press down on a hard surface and you push down and then you've got the base of the other one inside the other one. And it should look something like that. Next, get a pair of scissors and just punch a hole right in the centre. And then twist and make a small hole. Not too big. Just enough so a penny pence piece can fit and block the hole. And your stove is now done. Get some methylated spirits or alcohol, pure alcohol. In this case, methylated spirits, it burns really nice without any smoke and fill your can with your fuel. Don't need too much in there. You 
put your penny pence piece on the top and now you, so you have to prime it so you get your lighter and you just light underneath your fuel and this will heat up the fuel inside and it starts to vaporise out of the small holes and you start hearing it to fizzle inside let's give it a go now once you've primed it and warmed it up a bit give it a light you have your little stove alright for emergencies if you uh, go camping somewhere and you run out of gas you can use this little thing to uh, heat up the water whatever you want for a cup of tea the penny gas stove you could also make a uh, or get a stand for it for your saucepan get some mine over the top of that some water Let's see how long it takes to build it up. There we go. Let's see how long it takes. Okay, it's started to um, boil now. Getting some boiling water on this little device. The flame's still going strong, there's still loads of fuel left in there. It's been burning now for just under 10 minutes. And it's steaming lovely. Bit of hot water. Can have a cup of tea in a minute. <laughs> anyway, that was my um, cheap and easy to make uh, gas stove from cans and, and bits and pieces around the house. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, like the video, share it, everything else. You know the usual stuff. And I'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye bye for now.